Giant Kodo moment. Out into the world of Pokemon without any Pokemon. Yeah, let's do that. I can hear someone sh shouting down the road here. What should I do? What should I do? Somebody has to go help. I'll do it. Help me. Always run laps in a square. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Super Scar already made that joke. <laughs> Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Okay, fine. I'll, ch I'll freaking just help you. <laughs> okay, so. Whichever one you pick out, this is gonna be your starting Pokemon. So yeah, Trico, the Wood Gecko Pokemon. He stays a grass type throughout his whole evolutionary line. So as a subtile, the final his final evolution of a subtile would be um just a pure grass type. Cool. Chick Pokemon to Trick, this is a fire type. Um, if I didn't already mention that uh Trico is the grass type, of course. Uh, uh Trick with its final evolution of being a Blaziken is firefighting, so that's awesome. A uh, dual typing along with Mudkip. Mudkip also has a dual typing. The Mudkip, the Mudfish Pokemon. Mudkip is the water type Pokemon. As in its final evolution of a Swampert, it'll be water ground, so a dual typing there. Now I already used Torchic and Emerald, and I already used Mudkip in my first playthrough of Pokemon Ruby for my project on this channel. Um, so I'm gonna choose Trico. I did choose Trico for my Pokemon Sapphire and Nuzlocke adventure, but I didn't get quite- I didn't- I didn't get, I lost that Brawly. So I wanna give Trico a full playthrough of where I can just use him to his, full, his fullest extent, you know? So I'm gonna go with Trico. Let's go. Cool. Put you in a level 2, nice. Let's see, we got a male with Trico, cool. Let's go for the Pound. To about one third, awesome. Let's go for another pound. Okay, it's time to have health. One more pound should do it. I remember when I chose Mudkip, my second tackle I used from. I told my Mudkip to use, it missed. I was like, man, way to miss on the second tackle of the walkthrough, man. <laughs> okay, so we get some experience points. 15 to be exact, awesome. Phew, I was in the tall grass studying well Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Steven. This is not the place to chat, so come by my lab void, okay? And we're magic at the lab. Awesome. So, Steven, I've heard so much about you from your father. You've heard, I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off like, pulled it off with a plum. Um, I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes. As thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. We get the Trico. Nice. While uh, you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? Sure, why not? I'm gonna nickname this Trico Geico. So, gee... I have it on my notes on my other laptop. I'm using my other laptop to... Uh, since I have two laptops, I'm using my other laptop to like, have all like, my notes for my final team and stuff. So, in the... um, Yeah, the, the nickname is Geico. So, let me just make sure I spelled that right. G-E-I-C-O. G-E-I-C-O. Okay, cool, we did. Cool. Nice. Uh, if you work at Pokemon, if you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a good, darn good trainer. My kid May is out on about 103 studying Pokemon. It might not be a bad idea for you to go see May. Uh, what do you think? Sure, why not? Get great. May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Okay, cool. And then here's his aid. Oh, in studying the habitats of in distribution of Pokemon, the prof enjoys maze help too. There, there's a lot of love there. That's sweet. Nice.